Hi guys, Rook Knight here. I got a Seapox right here from uh, one of the ones that Bears Back sent me. Uh, thought I'd try giving it an open. Hope everybody's having a great Monday. One thing I noticed with this, the uh, tension, like the spring on it is just intense. Ooh, to be able to push this, comparing it to like, a, um, you know, an American lock, you know, it's supposed to be a clone, you know. There's definitely some big differences. Uh, the weight feels different. Uh, the tension, it just has to be full on. I mean, just so much pressure pushed against the core. Comparing to this, where I barely even touch the tension wrench. This one definitely, you got to put a little bit more onto it. That's for sure. All right, let's see what we can do, guys. Definitely feels like, you know, some spools and some uh, serrated. I haven't gutted it, and I don't, I'm not going to gut it because of being the fishbone core. I don't want to take the chance. I'm afraid of uh, messing it up. If you really want to see one inside, I'm sure there's braver men than I on YouTube that has took one of these apart but I'm just afraid I don't want to mess it up I really like it good practice even though it's a knockoff of American still it was also kind of sentimental because it was given to me by Bears Beck alright let's see here I feel like I pushed up all, most of my ones that were maybe serrated. I might have to go back and start getting the uh, spools. Right now I'm just checking for anything that's sticking. Having to keep that tension on my finger is just killing me. Ooh, it felt like a false set that time. So maybe now we're getting closer to the finish line here. I don't know why that keeps feeling like it's got to go but it won't budge when I take my tension off of it Whew, I feel like I'm gonna lose it like I really am putting a lot of pressure on it just just the only way I can get something to bind on this and then I taken a little bit of it off to try to get what feels like spools. All righty, there we go. Matter of time, right? Practice makes perfect. This is actually the second time I tried picking this, so I'm kind of feeling pretty good about myself. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It has a fishbone core, like I said. I'm not even going to attempt to pick it, or I'm sorry, gut it. I did pick it. Um, I also wanted to give a big shout out. Sorry about that. To Natural Born Picker. He started his channel a little while ago. He's already up to five videos, but only three subscribers, and that's not fair. Um, you guys know that YouTube and the Luxor community is all about giving shout outs and going to check them out, at least give them a shot, at least go watch some of his videos. You don't like it, you know, that if it's not for you, but at least go and watch one or two 
and uh, give him some support, you know. Uh, leave a couple messages saying he's doing a good job or something so he doesn't stop, you know. Uh, he's really a great guy. Um, you know, show your support. You know, whether you're a video creator or a channel supporter, uh, hop on over. Hit the subscribe button for him. You know, I remember when I was getting my first couple subscribers and... Oh my God, I flew on that for days. I, I was I was high as a kite feeling, you know what I mean? At least I think that's what you would feel like. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, guys, I, uh, I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate everything, all your comments and all your uh, help and everything you guys do for me. Um, hope you guys have a happy Monday and thanks for sh tuning in.